Hi, my name is Kevin Smith. I'm an Agile and Application engin Engineer for Scopes. Today, I'm going to show you what Peak Detect is and what it's good for. Um, so what I've got going on here is um, an RF burst, which you probably saw in my um, uh, in the segmented memory video. Um, and one of the things is, uh, so let's say we don't have a segmented license or don't really care about actually resolving the pulses. We just want to kind of keep our eyeball on them. And, um, uh, you know, maybe know when things occur or look at, like, kind of maybe like set, like a semi-duty cycle measurement. And, you know, at, at three, when, when at this time scale, uh, one millisecond per division, again, 200 mega samples, I can see a few of them. Once I get out to about 10 milliseconds per division, I can see that the, um, that the signal is undersampled because the amplitude is bouncing around, even though it's really not. I'm just, I'm just undersampled. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the um, uh, uh, Acquire menu and turn on uh, Peak Detect. And peak Detect works best when you crank up the intensity so you can really see it with your eyeballs. And now notice that we have much more stable amplitudes, okay? And, and in fact, if, if we zoom way, 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 way in, okay, we can see that there is some bouncing in the amplitude anyway, okay? Um, so so that, that is legit, but going back to that 10 millisecond scale, all right, so now I, you know, I, can do, I can do, you know, pulse width measurements, VP to peak measurements, whatever I need. Um, so the way segment, uh, peak detect mode works is it's only displaying data at 5 mega samples per division, but it's actually still running at 5 giga samples per second, the max sample rate available um, on this particular one gigahertz unit. And um, so it's actually displaying the min and the max um, uh, um, hits for a given uh, pixel display time bucket, and that's getting mapped to the screen. It's a visualization technique. Now, um, what you don't want to do, though, is also rely on, on peak detect to accurately characterize the guts of the pulse. Because right, this is what it does. It's showing, you know, hey, at, uh, at that old, um, at that 9.77 mega samples, you know, this is more or less the envelope. So you can also sometimes use this as an envelope detector, kind of. Um, let's take a look at a different signal. Okay. And I'm going to go to channel 3, where I have something else plugged in. And so... You might use Peak Detect to take a look at um, uh, just monitoring the output of, of, of some pulse source or signal source, and, and you know maybe it's 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 semi-random. Okay, so um, let's see if I can get this guy set up properly without the use of auto scale, and let's turn up the intensity. Okay, and I happen to know that this is a That should probably be triggering me, um, but what's so we're not seeing anything. Um, I'm going to hit the measure. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, the, the mode coupling, hard key in the trigger area. Set the mode to normal trigger, and ah, there we go. There we go. There's my signal. I had to turn on my signal source, and I'm overdriven there. That's okay. There we go. So, you know, there is my. Uh, edge, and I need to move my trigger level up a little bit because it's triggering on noise. There we go. All right, so now let's go out to that wide time base. And in fact, let's put it back into, um, yeah, normal mode there. Perfect, or not perfect, as we'll see. Let's go to a much longer time scale. Bring it down. Okay. Longer time scale. second per division here, and 200 kilosamples, these are, <clears throat> fairly wide pulses, so we're in normal mode here, but what if I, um, make my trigger events much more, much less frequent, or much narrower rather, 
So now I just made it so that my pulses are going to be much narrower. Okay. And so I know, in fact, that I am triggering much more frequently than what we see here than these three pulses. Okay. Um, and I see a few of them. I see them every once in a while. Okay, but now if I go into peak detect mode, I'm going to restart the acquisition, I'll see quite a few more of them. Or I should be able to at least see every single one of them. And I haven't changed the settings since I went back into this mode, uh, into peak detect. So peak detect, we see, every, we see all of the um, uh, pulses. Okay, let's do this. So, so we're at 50 kilosamples per second here, and in normal mode, we are in, um, we get 200 kilosamples per second, and we just got to fill up the first part of the buffer. I haven't changed anything. I, we know there's more pulses, but the sample rate is insufficient to see them. Again, again, by going into peak detect mode, <clears throat> we're actually running the ADC at max value and just displaying the mins and the max for each given time bucket. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.